Do you have something you're looking to buy? For example, this. If I want to buy this camera, then this is known as my financial goal. The problem with this is, I need lots of this. I need enough of this in order to achieve my financial goal. Coming up with a plan so that I can have enough money saved up in order to achieve my financial goal can be done through financial management. First, let's categorize financial goals. Financial goals can be largely classified into two. That is either short-term goals or long-term goals. Short-term goals can be achieved in under a year. For example, buying this camera would be a short-term financial goal. Or for example, if I wanted to buy a new phone or this chair that I'm sitting on. These do not involve large sums of money and they are achievable in under a year. Whereas long-term goals will be such as buying a car, buying a house, saving for retirement, children's education. These all involve very large sums of money and is going to take some time to accumulate. This is known as long-term financial goal. Setting the financial goals is the very first step in financial management. And this is a very important step. Without clear goals, we cannot achieve them. And the way to do this is by using the SMART approach. SMART is an acronym. S stands for specific. Our goal has to be a specific goal. For example, if I were to buy a phone, I need to be specific. Brand X can cost 500 ringgit, whereas brand A <coughs> can cost about 5,000 ringgit. So you need to be specific on what type of phone you want to buy. It's the same with anything else as well. We need to have a clear target. M stands for measurable. If we want to buy something, our financial goal needs to have a measurable value. For example, if I wanted to buy a camera, I need to know how much it costs. If I know how much it costs, then I can tailor my plan towards achieving the financial goal. Whereas, if I am not sure how much it costs, then I am not able to plan how much I need to save every month in order to achieve my financial goal. A is for attainable. If I wanted to buy a chair that costs 600 within three months, then for it to be attainable, I would need to save 600 divided by three, that is 200 ringgit a month. If I save 200 ringgit a month, then my goal is attainable. I can buy the chair in three months. If I save anything less than 200, then my goal is no longer attainable. R stands for realistic. If I wanted to buy a fancy car for 120,000 ringgit and I wanted to save enough down payment, let's say the down payment is 10%, which makes it 12,000 ringgit. If I wanted to save this down payment within a year, that would mean I have to save 1,000 ringgit every month. If I was earning a salary of 4,000 ringgit, then this would not be very realistic because I have to save 25% of my salary. A quarter of my salary has to be saved in order for me to achieve my goal. Of course, this varies from person to person. But generally, a good target would be to save 10%. That is very achievable. So if I was earning 10,000 ringgit instead, then this is a very realistic goal. T stands for time bound. Whenever we set financial goals, we have to be very clear on when we want to achieve our target. If I wanted to buy a car, I need to tell myself when I want to buy the car. Will it be five years from now? Will it be 10 years from now? Is it tomorrow? This is very important because when I want to achieve my goal will affect how much I need to save every month. The further into the future my goal is, the longer time I have to save and the less I need to save, the more realistic my saving. This is very important. So there we have it. This is the smart approach. Specific, measurable, attainable, realistic and time bound. I have a mini smart goal for this video guys. If you would please hit that like button in one minute, I think that's very realistic and attainable and it is very specific. The like button is right there down below here. Thank you very much for doing that guys. It really does help the channel. If you enjoy videos like this, do subscribe. I'll be producing at least one a week and I'll see you guys in the next video.